FAG Smart Check Commissioning. Please observe the conventional safety regulations applicable to the individual activities. Further information is given in the FAG Smart Check Manual. This video shows how you can mount the FAG Smart Check on a machine. FAG Smart Check can be used on various machines with a constant speed greater than 600 revolutions per minute. These include motors, pumps, or compressors. Where machines run at variable speed, we recommend that a speed signal should be integrated. The measurement point should be selected so that it is close to the component to be monitored. It is important to achieve good mechanical coupling. Ideally, this should be on solid metal. Sheet metal parts or covers are not suitable for mounting. FAG Smart Check is ideally screw mounted directly in a hole on the component to be monitored. If this is not possible, the device can also be fixed to the machine by means of mounting plates. Now we will, first of all, show mounting by means of screws. Here you can see all of the tools and materials required for installations by means of screws. Individually, these are safety goggles, angle grinder with grinding disc, drill with 5.4 mm bit, countersink, M6 tap, cutting oil, degreaser, and cleaning paper, grease, FAG smart check with power cable, Allen key, torque wrench, multimeter. Ensure that the machine cannot be switched on during installation. The measurement point must be flat and ground to a smooth finish. Flatness is a decisive requirement for good signal transmission to FAG Smart Check. The flat surface must have a diameter of at least 30 millimeters. A hole must now be drilled for the M6 mounting bolt. This hole must be at least 15 millimeters deep. The M6 internal thread must have a depth of at least 9 millimeters. Clean the measurement point, including the hole, to remove contamination and metal swarf. Any contamination will impair the measurement result. As mentioned at the beginning, mounting can alternatively be carried out by means of adhesive bonding. Here you can see all the tools and materials required. Individually, these are safety goggles, angle grinder with grinding disc, adhesive, degreaser and cleaning paper, grease, FAG smart check with power cable, Allen key, torque wrench, multimeter. Ensure that the machine cannot be switched on during installation. The measurement point must be flat and ground to a smooth finish. Flatness is a decisive requirement for good signal transmission to FAG Smart Check. The flat surface must have a diameter of at least 30 millimeters. Clean the measurement point to remove contamination and grinding residue. Any contamination will impair the measurement result. Apply the adhesive to one side of the plate. Then spray the activator on the measurement point. Press the fixing plate into place immediately under slight pressure and briefly hold it down if necessary. Wait 15 minutes. The remaining steps are identical for both mounting variants. Apply some grease to the measurement point. This will not only prevent corrosion, but also, and this is far more important, it will help to improve the signal transmission. Here you can see a schematic of the measurement point. The vibration signals from the defective components pass through the metal of the machine and are transmitted to the FAG Smart Check. Air gaps have a damping effect on this transmission. The grease fills in the air gaps and gives a considerable improvement in signal transmission. Then screw mount the FAG Smart Check on the machine. Please pay attention to the cable outlets. For tightening, use a torque wrench with a maximum torque of 10 newton meters. Before commissioning, the supply voltage and its polarity should be checked. We recommend a standard power supply of 24 volt DC. 
Before you connect the cable for the power supply, please switch off the power supply. Remove the cover from the supply socket on the FAG Smart Check. All sockets that are not connected must be closed off by the protective cover to prevent the ingress of contamination. All the plugs have reverse polarity protection. Ensure that locking pin on the plug engages in the socket. Lay the cable. Ensure that the cable does not contact any rotating parts and does not oscillate. You can now switch on the power supply. FAG Smart Check will boot up. This is indicated by the flashing status LED. The FAG Smart Check is not ready for operation until the lamp is lit continuously green. The next step is to start the teach in mode. Please view the video FAG Smart Check Teach Mode and Response to an Alarm. Further information is given on the Scheffler website in the section Services or on the microsite for the FAG Smart Check.